In this short video, we are going to learn how to calculate duration and modify duration using Excel function. And once we have calculated duration and modified duration using the Excel function, we'll also verify those calculations manually. So without any further delay, let's begin. Let us take an example where we are going to find the duration and modified duration of a 10% 5 year bond with a face value of rupees 100 and which is trading at a yield of 12%. Let's open up Excel and see how we can find the duration and modified duration using first the inbuilt financial function in Excel and then we'll find it out manually to verify the results. Okay, now that we are in Excel. Let us first feed in certain parameters which are required for calculating duration and modified duration. The first one is settlement date. Then we would require the maturity date. Then we require the coupon. Then yield. And finally we need the redemption value. Let us adjust the column width. Now settlement date we can feed it as today. Maturity date since this is a five year bond we can feed the maturity date as 14th August 2025. Coupon we know this is a 10% bond. Yield is 0.12 and redemption value is 100. Right. Now with these parameters, we can calculate duration by using the function and to use the function, we need to go into formulas, click on financial and there we would have duration which requires us to give the settlement date. So we'll link it to B1, maturity date B2, coupon B3, yield and frequency since we are presuming the bond to be paying the coupon annually the frequency of the coupon payment will be one so we we hit enter and we get the duration as 4.132684 years now to calculate modified duration we again go to formulas click on financial scroll down till we find a function which is called as m duration again a pop-up window opens which requires us to feed in these parameters so settlement date will link it to b1 maturity is b2 coupon is 0.1 yield is 0.12 and frequency we know is one and we hit enter and we get the modified duration as 3.2 six eight nine eight nine six four percent now you have to remember that modified duration tells us that for one percentage change in yield by how much percentage will the bond price change by so in this case a one percent change in yield will result in a change in the bond price by 3.689 or approximately 3.69 percent now let us verify these calculations manually now we know that calculation of duration is a two step process. First we need to calculate the price of the bond and from the price we calculate the duration. So we take this column as year and since we know the bond is a five year bond, the years will be one, two, three, four and five. Cash flows, since this is a 10% bond, it will pay a coupon of 10 every year and in the last year it will pay us the principal value that is 100 plus the 10 rupee coupon so in the last year that is the fifth year we'll receive 110 we adjust the column width we discount this at 12 percent now how do we do that equal to 1 
divided by 1.12 and bracket close hit enter this is the present value interest factor for year 1 at 12 percent now for the second year will be equal to this into again this but this time we'll also press f4 to make this as a constant and press enter and we drag it down so this gives us the present value interest factor for each of these years. Discounted cash flows, which is nothing but the cash flow for every year equal to cash flow for every year into PVI factor for that year. And we drag this down. The sum total of this will give us the price of this bond. The next thing that we need to calculate is the proportion which will be the cash flow for that year as a proportion to the total price and since the total price will be constant we press F4 again to make this constant. Enter and we drag this down and the sum total of this obviously has to be 1. Then we have time weighted proportion we just wrap the text off be the proportion multiplied by time and we drag this down and the sum total of this will give us the duration of this bond now if you see the duration is 4.1354 which is almost equal to the duration that we found out of course the minor differences would be due to the rounding off adopted by the models now to find the modified duration we need to do certain calculation on this duration which we have found so how do we find that out how do we find modified duration modified duration is found by duration multiplied by 1 upon 1 plus y upon n where y represents the yield and n represents the number of coupons in a year which in our case will be 1. Now substituting the figures that we have found out we have found out duration as 4.13 so 4.13 into 1 upon 1 plus 0.12 which is the yield upon 1 which is the frequency of coupon payments this gives us 3.6875 or say 3.69 which is exactly what we found out using the built-in excel function. Now in the formula of modified duration you have to be careful about one thing that is in this case n does not represent the life of the bond. Normally you associate n with the life of the bond but in this case n does not represent the life of the bond it represents the number of coupon payments so if this was a semi-annual bond then in this case we would have taken n as 2 if you have any queries or if you would like a video on any particular topic in finance do let me know in the comment section and i'll try to create one for you if you like this video please do share it and do not forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any of my posts ciao and take care